So now we're going to talk a little bit about how we do GUIs on Java. And I mentioned to you that there are two main libraries, Swing and JavaFX. I'm going to teach you Swing today a little bit. And uh, initially my thought had been to give you all the code and just have you run it. But I think there is some value to making you type it out just so you can get familiar with it. So I'm going to go through a bunch of exercises today after lunch. Let's see how we're doing right now. Yeah. And we're going to go through about half a dozen different examples of very, very simple GUIs. The Swing library works beautifully with BlueJ or IntelliJ. So you won't have any issues there. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to give you one demonstration. And then you go to lunch. And then when you come back, I'll show you how it all works. So here is the first one. And I'm going to start this under the BlueJ package. And I'm going to show you what's in here first. So here I'm importing the uh, Swing library. Notice that there's an X here. I think that means experimental. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the traditional Swing library. I don't know what this one. You need both of them. And then here is the thing that gives you the events. Events is how you trigger, like when you press on a button, something happens. That's like an event. So uh, ignore this part up here. Look over here. This is the first example where we're going to create a little window, and we're just going to ask the user to type in yes or no. So this is like what they call a confirmation dialog. So this is going to now. You notice this is null here. When it's set to null, so it creates a brand new window. If you have an existing window where you wanted to display this, you would put the, the handle or the address of that window right there, and it would do it in an existing window. When this is set to null, it creates a new window. And this is the question that it's going to display. This right here is going to be the title for the window. And then this is a built-in, in, it's a constant that's built into a swing that will basically provide you with the yes-no dialog. And here, after uh, they enter the, the response, the response will be stored in this variable called reply. And now we can compare it to see if it was a yes or a no that was entered. And um, uh, then we're going to reply by showing what, what they typed to show that it works. So I'm going to run this for you now. And there it is. So you can see that here is the title. And here is the question. And if you enter yes, you can see that it'll say that you entered yes. And if you type in no, it'll it press no, it'll show you that you entered no. So this is a simple starting package here. And you notice that most of it is built into the system, right? So you can see that yes, no is a very common question you ask the user in a program. So here you're using stuff that's built into the Swing library so you don't have to write a lot of code.